Ice cream lovers, nice to have you here. Steve Christensen's my name, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. A lot of exciting things happening right now, so let's go. We're moving in the next couple of months or so in the Chesterfield area. Very excited about that. Stay tuned for these videos because we're actually going to be documenting the uh, building out of the new Scoop School facility and uh, putting it up here on YouTube. Hey, thank you to our episode sponsor, Chocolate Shop Ice Cream. Is it a chocolate shop? No. Is it only ice cream? Well, well yeah, it is, but they have all different frozen desserts. ChocolateShopIceCream.com. Look, if you want to just buy their ice cream and brand it your own, or you can use the Chocolate Shop brand, it's up to you. It's how they say, six one hand, half dozen the other. Link is down below. Thank you very much for your episode sponsorship. We want to talk about sugar in here. Sugar. Uh, my granddad used to say that. Pasta, sugar, sugar. You can't buy sugar-free ice cream. You can't buy sugar-free ice cream. Why, you ask? Look, if you're wanting to use milk or cream or any kind of dairy that comes from a cow, it's already going to have sugar in it. What is that sugar called, I hear you ask? Lactose. Lactose. Lactose is the cow's natural sugar. So when you start looking at perhaps talking to the chocolate shop or one of these other ice cream companies about buying ice cream, they may offer you an NSA, November Sierra Alpha, Alpha Phonetic uh, Alphabet, used it in the police. Queensland Police Service, 13 years. Thanks for the memories. Shushing. NSA, no sugar added ice cream. So basically what that means is that, yes, there is sugar already in it. It's the cow's natural sugar. But in the process of us making the mix and freezing it down, we haven't had added any extra sugar, hence the term NSA, or no sugar added. And look, a lot of people ask, well, should I offer it? Should I not? Um, is there a real difference? Well, I think you need to look at your demographics. If you're in Florida or you're in an area where there's a very high senior population uh, or those that are concerned about sugar content, diabetes and so forth, then maybe it will. I do think that having a no sugar added ice cream in the case, taking up beautiful case space or display space, considering that maybe, I don't know, two or three percent of your customers order it, might be a little bit... Mm, not the best decision. Uh, so you can certainly offer it, but put it in the freezer at the back. If anyone asks, you can say, well, we don't have any on display. We do have some in the back, but we didn't make it ourselves. It's probably good to have if your demographic warrants it. But again, the sugar in ice cream does a lot of different things. It creates sweetness, obviously, but it also creates scoopability, texture, and that kind of thing, because sugar is an antifreeze, very similar to salt. So the more sugar you put in, the more pliable that product's going to be. So you kind of need some kind of sweetener as well as something that helps the product maintain consistency uh, as it tempers up. We just did a video on that. So no sugar added ice cream. Should you offer it? Uh, it depends on your demographic. Should you make it yourself? Probably not. Should you call it sugar free? Absolutely not because it does have sugar in it. Thanks to Gilbert's mother. Anyway, that's all we have time for. Great question on that, by the way. And if you have any questions about the ice cream business, drop them down in the comments for Pete's sake. And while you're down there, click subscribe, click the little ring a bell, keep on scooping, see you in the next video. Shishing.